Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today's video is definitely a bit different than my normal content. Today we are actually doing a makeup unboxing and also a first impression review. I made an order from e.l.f. obviously <laughs> and I ordered the poreless, what is it called, the poreless putty primer. I've been trying to get my hands on this stuff since it was released. I saw Jeffree Star do a review of it. He compared primers um, and he liked it. So if it's good enough for Jeffree Star, pretty sure it's going to be good enough for me. But yeah, I've been to Ulta, Walmart, Walgreens looking for it. Everywhere I go, it's always sold out. Even on the website, it's been sold out. So I finally put my email to sign up to, to have them email me when it is back online. And I got the email last week and I went in and I purchased it right away. I was going to load up on them, but apparently you're only allowed to buy two with every order because they sell out that fast. So that's what I did. I ordered two. And on the e.l.f. website, if you order $25 or more, you get free shipping. And right now you get a free gift with that purchase of $25. So that's what I did. I'm a sucker for free shipping. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to unbox it. And I'm kind of going to go ahead and do like my everyday look. I'm not big on like foundation and stuff, but when I do want to look a little nicer, I do have a routine I do. And I'll go ahead and just do that on camera. So here we go. We're going to open it. It is kind of cool too. Their label. I peeled off my shipping address for the, um, the video and then underneath was my order. So that's kind of neat. And they did step up their game with the boxes. Like, these are actually pretty, pretty nice box. Yeah, wow, that's safe. It's like a double layer box. I just opened up one layer. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought when Chad brought it home. Because I had it shipped to his uh, work. I shook it and I was like, I don't think there's any um, bubble wrap in there, <laughs> which there's not. That's okay though. Um, let's see. Let me pull up to my order. How can I do that? I'm not signed in, so it doesn't have it, but that's okay. I can kind of remember the prices. Because there was also, okay, I've pulled my receipt up on the computer so I can tell you the prices. They are also right now having a summer sale and there's a bunch of different things that are 60% off. So, first thing I'm pulling out of the box is an eyelash curler. And for this, it was 80 cents. I needed a new one. You'll see here shortly when I start doing my makeup that mine is dead. And here are the primers two of them. They are 0.74 ounces each and these were each $8. This one is a flawless face brush and it was $2.40. Normally I think their brushes are like $6. This one is the selfie ready stipple brush and it was $2.40 which is that the one I ordered it's worded differently on my invoice on my invoice it says domed stipple brush but maybe it is I mean it kind of looks domed but elf stipple brushes are really really good I highly recommend them again that's normally six dollars um, an eyebrow an eyebrow lash wand which you'll see I needed a new one. How much were you? 40 cents. I think it's normally just a dollar. This is the Matte Blush Duo Rosy Flush. So there's two blushes in there and I really like e.l.f. matte blushes. They work really good. They're really pigmented and they last. This was only a dollar sixty. I think normally they're five dollars. I got some matte blotting papers. It comes with the case. I'll open all this so you guys can see it. It was $2. Again, I think it's normally $5. 
And then my free gift, <laughs> my free gift that came after spending $25 was this Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. And I own this one already. Normally they're $10, it was free. And this is my favorite palette, probably that I own. I have a few higher end palettes, but this is actually my favorite. It is good for using for under your eye, also as uh, an eyeshadow. But if you wanted to, you can also use these in your eyebrows for filler. So very cool that that was free. So yeah, I will open this stuff up as I use it. But first, let's see, to prep. When I wash my face, I use Chad's face wash, which is this Harry's face wash. It is peppermint and it has uh, little beads in it to gently exfoliate. I do like a nickel size of this. And then I also add in, I either use Murad and I also use a Proactive. And I'll put like a pea size mixed with this to wash my face. Because as you can tell, <laughs> I am an adult with acne problems and this fights the acne while this still moisturizes because if you know using just acne washes can dry out your skin and that sucks but that actually works pretty good this i think you can get at walmart and target and it's fairly inexpensive washed my hands already so the next thing i do is i moisturize and i use the neutrogena and this one is the gel yeah gel cream and you can normally get these at Walgreens because they are kind of expensive. I think this is like $20, but if you find them on sale, I use two just little, little dabs. If you get them at Walgreens, you can find them on sale for uh, buy one, get one 50% off. And so my skin, my whole reason for this purchase was for those e.l.f. primers because my skin I have really large pores, which Kimmy, I saw your video yesterday and you were asking about a good primer. You will see the primer I normally use, which works really good for large pores. Um, but I'm hoping this one works too as a less expensive um, alternative. And then I use the Mario Badesco Cucumber Spray. I think this is like $12 at Ulta, which I love it. Oh God, it's so refreshing. And then I pat my stuff into my skin to help it absorb better. But yeah, sorry, real quick, I got distracted in my face. So I've got, let me see if I can scoot close enough. Large pores, as you can see, but I also have acne scarring. That's from back when I was in high school. I used to have um, pretty bad acne not a lot but I'd get like four at a time that were ginormous so as you can see I do have some acne scarring which sucks but I'm whatever it's life <laughs> that's my life but I also do get acne still it's just right here for now and I know exactly what it's from it's because I've been drinking milk I put dairy in my coffee I've just started doing it again and that's what it's from but life is short, creamer's good. Put creamer in your coffee because it's just pimples. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it for me. Um, this is what I keep my makeup in. I don't own much anymore. I used to be really big into makeup, but I have I've stopped <laughs> purchasing it. I used to be really big into watching beauty gurus and I'd buy a bunch, but I've given it to my nieces. And I've, yeah, I don't have much anymore. The stuff I do have, I love. So I'm going to go ahead and open the putty primer, maybe. <laughs> Gee, that is packaged great. Holy smokes. Okay, so I just rip it open. And the one I normally use is this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. And it's pretty much amazing. It's like magic on your face. But this thing, let's see, how much are you? A lot, I know that. It is $36 and it's not even one ounce. It's 0.95 fluid ounces. It'll last you a while, but it's pretty expensive. It works wonders. Like I go from this to being decently pretty when I put this on. Um, 
but yeah it is supposed to help with flaws pores and it says it even helps hide wrinkles which it does look if i smile you can see my wrinkles which they don't bug me anymore it used to bug me i used to feel old when i would see my wrinkles but now i don't know they're kind of just like um i don't know i think i'm a smile lines i've had a pretty good life i smile and i laugh a lot and that's kind of just what my wrinkles are sorry my bra strap keeps showing <laughs> um so here's the putty primer i'm surprised that there wasn't like a peel thing off on it and i guess you just stick your fingers in it oh yeah okay so i'm gonna do half my face and compare and see i don't know i've got this much right now i'll try and i've got a mirror next to me so i can do a good job at putting stuff on my face um right off the bat it kind of feels greasy Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm seeing a difference. Oh, also my expensive one, it kind of mattifies too. Which this is drying down. It's not staying oily, but that initial um, of me putting it on kind of scared me for a second. Like, oh great, now I'm going to have pimples on the side of my face. Well... I mean, you can see a difference, I think, from the side with the putty to without. I'm going to put just a little bit more, like on my huge pores, to kind of help it out a little bit. Because this is my main area of crappiness. <laughs> it's right here on my cheeks. And I'll pat it in a little bit this time. the second layer of it yeah I think that definitely helped so maybe it takes a bit more of using it um, there's what I dug out so far so there's that that's my right side and I'm gonna use my other hand my less dominant hand to try and put this on my left side I'm going to do, I don't know, I tried to do half a pump since I'm only doing half of my face. Yeah, like right off the bat, I can definitely feel the difference. Like this is just so smooth. It's like the liquid powder feeling. And it goes in a lot faster. I don't think I'm going to need any more than that. Like even that much was maybe too much for half of my face. And like I said, I pat my stuff in. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the smacking sound. I swear I'm not beating my face up. Okay, so there's my primer that I normally use. Let me turn the light off for a second so you can see. Maybe that doesn't help. In my mirror though, maybe they're about the same, but this one took two layers versus the one over here, but even if it did take double the amount, that's still a bunch cheaper with the e.l.f. Um, they do feel differently. Like, the side with the e.l.f. feels like I have stuff on my face, whereas this side feels completely bare and just feels good <laughs> I go in again with a little bit more of the Mario Badesco I love everything Mario Badesco I can't afford everything I'm pretty cheap when it comes to everything in my life <laughs> I was gonna say my makeup but no literally everything in my life I don't spend a lot of money on okay Yeah, I can still feel that there's like stuff on my face. 
which I don't like because I don't wear foundation. Like I rarely wear foundation. When I do, like if I go to a wedding or something, this is what I wear. It is CoverGirl Clean and Clear Matte BB Cream. And this stuff is amazing. I think they only have like four colors, but I own like three of the colors and I just mix and match depending on what I need. But like I'll wear it when I go to weddings or on the rare occasions of date nights with Chad, I will wear this. Highly recommend it and it's good if you're prone to acne it doesn't cause you to break out. What I do wear as a foundation, let me see, pull it up on my screen so I can tell you how much it is. This is the Mario Badesco Special Healing Powder. And how many ounces are you? It's 0.5 ounces and it's $12, but this lasts a very long time. I don't use that much on my face, which you'll see here in a second. And it says, it's for all skin types. This sulfur-based powder will not only help control excess oils and reduce redness, but will also disinfect and heal blemishes. So there's sulfur in this, so it helps if you do have acne problems. And I am a little on the red side, not just from beating my face just now. I do tend to run on the red side. So there's just like a little powder puff in here and I just give it a little shake to get it out of there. And then, I mean, it's a powder, so I just press it into my skin to keep it from flying away. I just press it all over my face. And like I said, this acts as my foundation because it does also help with the blurring. So it it's not giving you color coverage other than helping reduce the red but it is helping to hide wrinkles and pores which is really my two main things i mean it's not like much else helps hide acne you're still gonna have a bump even if the color is your skin tone it's still gonna show through i bring it down my neck because it is gonna lighten you just a little bit and then i go back and i pat it in like so and then I go in this is just an eco tools powder brush and I get the rest of it brushed in I'm not sure how this is with um, like camera flashes like flashback I would imagine you would turn white in photos at nighttime but I'm not sure because nobody's taking photos of me so I couldn't tell you honestly but I imagine it would okay once I get that all in like I think it makes a huge difference right there from where I started I guess I should have taken a before picture but I think it looks okay for like an everyday look I feel like it's good enough and I mean besides the elf primer which I can still kind of feel on a regular basis when I'm just using my primer you, like it feels like there is nothing on my face which is what I like when I feel like when I wear foundation I feel like I'm wearing a mask oh sorry this is my bronzer slash contour um yeah I'm 10 years old this is Lisa Frank this came in an ipsy bag um and I've used the heck out of it I need to find where to order more of these because I love it. It is perfect. And this is just, is this Real Techniques? Yeah, Real Technique brush. Make the face. Any guys watching this are like, what the heck is she doing? You have to. If you're a girl, you know you have to make this face to get it in your cheek crease. And this is just to bring color back into my face. Um, <laughs> when I first lost weight, I am, I lost, how would I lose 65 pounds? But when I first lost like a bunch of the weight, I actually stopped contouring because people were like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, the grief people. I don't know if it was making, I was doing too good of a job at contouring, I guess. I put some of the weight back on um, so now I feel like I can go ahead and contour again. 
Oh, okay, Kimmy. I saw your video. <laughs> and uh, you did such a good job at your eyeshadow. So I apologize for what you're about to see happen. This is literally how I do my eyeshadow. Like even if I was going to a wedding or on a date, this is how I would do my eyeshadow. So yeah, I take my contour brush, take my contour. I put my fingers right here to help with the fallout. And then I use this to put my eyeshadow. <laughs> Don't judge me. People ask me, I do get people that ask me, how do you do your makeup? What do you use? Like seriously, I'm just beating my eyeball with this big brush. Get some more, put your fingers there to block from making it look like you have a black eye. And boom, there's my eyeshadow. It's kind of harder to see on the camera because of the lights, but that is how I do my eyeshadow. I'm so sorry to people that actually know how to do makeup. And then I blend it in a little. And I blend in. <laughs> this is how I blend my eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, Kimmy. I feel so embarrassed showing that, but that's how I do it. And I do get people that ask me how I do it. That's how I do it. Um, I might try my stipple brush for my blush. And another reason I ordered that eyeshadow from e.l.f. is because mine is hard to get to. Like I showed you the case, my eyeshadow is at the very bottom of it and I have to take everything out. It's this Morphe palette, which I like it and it was cheap. It was like 10 or $12 for all these shades. I really like it, but it's a pain in the butt trying to get to it every time I want to wear blush. So this one won't be as hard to get to. Yeah, their packaging is really good. Seriously, y'all. Good for you. And it's got the safety. Um, yeah, the safety thing was on it. Good job, Elf. And there's a lighter color. I wasn't expecting it to be that light, but the other color I believe I can use. So here's the stipple brush. Oh, maybe this will work. That's really, that's really dense. Let me check out this one. Oh, that one's a little better. This might work better for the blush. It's still really dense, but it's a little bit more movable. This might be better for your contour. I do like my Real Technique brushes, but sometimes I feel like they're too big. So let's see. Doesn't look like there's much fallout. I'm using the pinky color. That's pretty. It's hard to see it on my camera. I'm just filming, or my camera. I'm filming on my phone. I think it's pretty. And then Kimmy, I apologize again, you're gonna cringe cause then I get that same brush <laughs> and I put it on my eyes again. And then I like to put mine on my nose a little bit just to make it look a little sun kissed. And then I put a little on my neck. People watching this, yeah, I put it on my ears too. Just so, that's like where the sun would hit you. <laughs> and then I do blend that a little bit with that same brush that I used to wipe off the Mario Badesco powder. And that's it for my face. That is me regularly. I actually do like it and both sides look good. Both primers. And with the powders on my face, I guess the e.l.f. is a little less noticeable. Um, then next I will do my eyelashes, which is this an extra one? Nope, that's the one that goes on there. Well, they could have put it on there for me. Now you get to see me struggle with this tiny little bag. Shoo. I mean, this video is already 22 minutes long. Bless your heart if you made it this long. Oh no, it is on there. Doggone it, I opened it for nothing. Does it go on the top? No. 
No, okay, I just have an extra one. I need to find a place to put that. So here's my new one. Nice and clean and put together. Here's my old one. It's dirty and which I could have cleaned, but this little rubbery thing, it won't stay in there anymore. Like, yeah, I pushed it in there now, but once you use it, it falls right back out. So that is garbage now. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my mirror to do this. Okay, it feels weird. <laughs> Normally there's like, like you can squeeze it and you can feel it doing a difference. I mean, kind of. I think that one I just threw away was a L'Oreal one. And it did work pretty good. It was just a pain in the butt now that it's broken. I wonder if you can just like super glue those suckers in there or why they even have replacement ones. Cause do these break? Does the rubber normally break? Don't know. Okay, it's all right. It's more of a natural curl. That other one kind of gave you a crazy curl, <laughs> which I liked, it was more dramatic, but I don't mind the natural. Okay. Good enough. Next, I used the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. Again, this was just like in an Ipsy bag. I don't do Ipsy anymore, or Birchbox, or Walmart Beauty, or Target Beauty, or the Sephora Play. I did used to do all of those, but I was getting too many samples that I wasn't liking or wasn't using, and I did go in and like re-edit my account, but it was still not that great. Every once in a while, I would get something I loved, but it wasn't worth the amount of things that sucked. <laughs> I do like, um, Here's Lynn. That's her YouTube channel. Um, her eyelashes look crazy good. I don't know what you use, or if you have, oh, what are those called? When you go and have them, like, glued on to your eyeballs and they last a long time. But your eyelashes are beautiful. <laughs> Mine are thick, but they're not very long. Okay, good enough. And then I do a little bit on the bottom. And did you notice how I did my top lashes without making the face? I can't do it with the bottom, but... Good enough. That's my, uh, <laughs> my saying in life. Good enough. And I will go ahead and open up this lash wand maybe there you go seriously elf's packaging is spot on jeepers so here's my old one it's just like full it looks like a pine cone like this one see the gaps that's what we want bye in the trash brush my eyebrows up and if i was doing a full face i would use powder in it which i actually do use the elf one this stuff, like it's probably almost empty. Oh yeah, that thing's destroyed. It is amazing, it lasts long, and it looks natural, really good. But on days where I don't really care that much, I just use, what is this called? Benefit Gimme Brow, and I buy the tiny one at a time because this stuff's expensive. I'm not sure how much this little one is, maybe 16, like crazy expensive, just for eyebrow gel. And I'm gonna have to go to this camera, or my mirror because this is too hard to do and I already do have fairly thick eyebrows but I just like to fill them in I don't know if you can see the difference in it a little bit This one's hard for me to talk through. I'm focusing on staying in between the lines. And when I'm not talking, this could probably take me like five, six minutes maybe. And then I'm done and out the door. I typically don't do anything with my hair. If I'm having a good hair day, then I'll just wear it as is, like this in a bun. Um. If not, I just put a hat on my head and call it good. I keep hitting my elbow on the desk. You can probably hear that. And it hurts. I have sensitive elbows. And then I go through with this again. 
comb it all the way through. Man, that's nice having a new one. And then I use a Q-tip and I go get the fallout from my mascara. Anything I kind of messed up putting it on. Anything I missed on my eyebrows. And then I brush away that mascara. Redo my, reshape my eyebrows. And then I typically finish them off with some wax, which I should have ordered one of these. It's almost out. It is by e.l.f. as well. And it works wonders, wonders, wonders for keeping your eyebrows in place. I really like it. I recommend most e.l.f. things. They're either hit or miss, but the ones that hit, holy smokes, they are better than the expensive brands. And e.l.f. I think might be the cheapest makeup brand out there. And then I finish off with this. And it feels good. It just helps set all that powder I have on my face, makes it sink into my skin to look more natural. And then the last thing I do put on is this chapstick. You get these at Walmart. I highly recommend them. There's different pictures. You don't have to get one with a picture of poop on it, but it is so moisturizing. And it's almost like a lip gloss to finish off the look. Oh, my face is wet still from the spray, but yeah, that is all I do. I've been experimenting with new hairdos. Normally I part my hair from the side. I'm trying the center part. I feel like it makes me look older in a good way. And I've been putting it behind my ears. Which I'm a little self-conscious about. I have big ears. But anyway, that's my makeup look. Oh, I guess I could open this palette for you. And show it to you. <laughs> Maybe. Good grief, I'm just gonna have to rip it open. Elf, you're doing too good of a job at packaging. Seriously, gee. There we go. So here's the palette. This one is my favorite eyeshadow palette thus far in life. Sorry, blind you with the mirror. But all of those matte neutrals and the black is really black. Oy, it's such a good palette. And right now, free with $25 purchase great deal um but yeah that is my very long 30 minute video on how i do my makeup this is my every every day going out of the house look obviously i work from home if i'm not going anywhere i ain't putting makeup on my face you've seen it in past youtube videos the ones where you're kind of looking at me and are like what's wrong with her is she sick no that's just my normal face um, but yeah, highly recommend e.l.f. So far, this is good. I'll update you in my next video how it lasted throughout the day. But so far, it matches up with that really expensive primer. So yeah, go get you some. I think they're still for sale. I don't think they've sold out yet. I mean, it's been a few months since they were, were released. So maybe the hype's kind of calming down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you if you've made it 30 minutes and 17 seconds into this. Good for you. <laughs> okay, bye.